What's up guys, Mark Formata here. Uh, finished my air ride. Uh, probably it's been about a week since I finished it up. Um, and so far everything's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm absolutely loving the air ride. So I wanted to do a quick video. I don't think I did a final uh, piece on what my trunk setup ended up looking like. Um, maybe even just a couple of issues that I ran into doing the install and issues that I've had coming in over the last couple weeks just kind of fixing certain things. So uh, real quick let's go over to the trunk take a look I'll show you what I ended up doing back there and see show you how it turned out. Right, pop the trunk open and there she is. That's how she turned out. Um, pretty everything's pretty well exposed opened up um, just went for kind of a simple setup uh, the basic setup is a 2x4 frame with a piece of plywood I think it's like 3 8 inch thick on top and it's not a complete frame it's only three pieces the back is empty so I could run all my lines throughout the back um, and I just built the frame, I used all the templates and stuff and mounted the compressor and the tank and everything, drilled all the holes and set everything up before I wrapped it. Uh, I wrapped it in the same fabric that I have my headliner wrapped in so it kind of matches the car and goes along with the little Star Wars theme. Even got a few Star Wars stickers on my compressor there. Um, I had a bunch of stickers on my tank but I had to take them off which I'll get to in a minute of why I had to do that. So, yeah, 2x4 frame, plywood on top. Um, the control module itself actually sits on a piece of 2x4 that is cut to fit uh, the module. And I just have it screwed on to the board and then have the control module screwed down to that. And I have all my airlines running through holes through the back. They curve underneath, run towards the front of the car. And then I have... Uh, union fittings underneath there for all four corners um, just in case I ever have to repair anything I don't have to take the whole line out I can just do it at the union point which they're all sitting pretty much right behind the back seat so that makes things kind of easier over here you can see my water trap um, I have the drain line running through the bottom and out underneath the seat and into a grommet that goes underneath the car um, same with my airline for the tank drain runs out the middle under the back seat and I have a little line over off the side kind of show you you can see here's kind of my drain fitting over here so when I can drain the tank I can just pop my seat out grab that line and discharge the tank get any water that's collected in there out <clears throat> and of course I got my subwoofer over here um, I tried having it standing up and kind of tucked over more to the side, but when I took a corner, it kind of fell over. So for right now, that's kind of where she sits until I can either get a new box or something for it. Um, the amplifier itself is behind this. Let me open this up real quick. Okay, scooch this out. So there you go. That opens up. And you can see I have my amplifier mounted where the CD changer used to be. Uh, kind of keeps it out of the way and leaves me more space in my trunk. And that closes up real nice. Sub just kind of sits over there. I'm probably going to end up just tucking that wire all the way in. Uh, pulling that trim out and redoing it. Um, but yeah, that's how it turned out. And I'm pretty happy with it. It looks pretty cool. So, like I was saying, um, finishing up the air ride, there were a couple issues I ran into. Um, one being some small leaks. Um, I didn't have any leaks in the bags at all. Um, luckily, I don't know why, but I'm thinking along the lines that all the fittings that came with the kit they had a sealant already applied to the threads and then I actually applied some Loctite 545 to those any of those fittings that had kind of like that double sealant on them no problems no leaks whatsoever any of the threads that were bare that didn't have anything on them 
and I just applied Loctite 545 per what I've heard on forums. Everybody says use it, it's great stuff. Um, I used it on all those fittings that went into the tank. The compressor lead line, I think a plug, and one other fitting, and I had nothing but leaks. So the leaks started out small, and as I tried to fix them, I think I ended up making things worse. Uh, the, lead, the hole that I had the leader line for the compressor in, I ended up stripping it out and made it bigger. And eventually, after trying to thread it in and thread it in and reseal it and reseal it, I ended up stretching out the hole and the fitting would bottom out. So within MPT fittings, when you're torquing them down, they're only supposed to go about halfway in by hand and in a couple turns tight. Um, but I over torqued it, I screwed the tank up. So I called Airlift and I said, hey guys, I called their support, said, hey guys, I think I screwed up the threads, this bottom's out, I can't get it to seal, what are my options? And the guy said, well, you probably over torqued it, screwed up the threads. And I'm like, so I'm screwed, I need a new tank now. He's like, yeah, probably. He's like, don't worry, we'll go ahead and send you a new one. And I was like, okay, you're going to just send me a new tank? He's like, yeah, no problem. He asked me where I got it from when I bought it. And he says, yeah, we'll just send you out a new one overnight. Well, it wasn't overnight. But he sent us out a new one. Uh, I got it next day because they're in Lansing and I'm in Detroit. So it's an overnight ship basically from them. And uh, popped the new tank in. And so far, leak free. So I ended up using Teflon instead on all my fittings on the new tank. And I am leak free now on the on the tank. So awesome. Don't use 545 on bare threads. I heard it works great, but it didn't work good for me. I just used Teflon and everything's sealed now. I have no leaks. Um, so awesome props goes out to Airlift for the awesome customer support. I mean, the fact that they were just like, oh, we'll just send you a new tank. No questions asked. Cool. I got to send them back the uh, old one. I forgot to ship it today. I'm going to ship it out to them first thing tomorrow morning and make sure I send them an email and say thanks uh, for the awesome support and sending me a new tank when they really didn't have to because I screwed it up. <laughs> so another good reason to maybe go with Airlift. Customer support's awesome. Uh, just right there is first hand experience. So um, another issue I came into was a kinked line. Uh, when I set up the rear bag, my right rear, I had the line running through the ABS grommet and somehow between the seat and the grommet it got twisted and had a kink in it. I drove around for about a day uh, with that kink and I was watching my m pressure on the monitoring system and I realized that it was always 10, 15 pounds, maybe even 20 pounds higher than everything else. And then when I would air out, it wouldn't go down to zero. It would always have pressure in the bag. So I'm like, well, what the heck? Start digging, find out, okay, the kink line's there. Um, I unkinked the line, tried doing it, tried driving it around, still did the same thing. Lesson learned. Uh, if you end up kinking a line on something, just replace it. Don't try to unkink it because once you get a bend in it, it's done. Um, so make sure as you're running lines, you try to save some extra just in case you screw up and do uh, kink a line. My problem with that was I ran through the grommet too close to the body and it actually kinked on the uh, cutout end of the fender well. Um, I think I saved that line. Hold on one sec. <coughs> Yeah, so I did. I saved the line, and I don't know if you can tell, but right here is the kink. That's what happened. And as you can see, it just bends right over. That's how I kinked my line. I thought I could unkink it and just leave it be, and it would be fine, but as you can see, it's got a nice dip in there, and that was really causing some issues, not allowing the bag to properly deflate or inflate and the pressure wasn't reading right in the uh, control module so if you kink a line replace it <clears throat> so that's pretty much about it uh, as far as issues I ran into and how the uh, trunk setup ended up turning out um, I'm going to be doing kind of a full on review of the system here shortly I'll be doing a drive and talk about it and talk about uh, pros and cons uh, so far I haven't really found any cons I really love the system and I'm really happy with my purchase so for right now this is Mark 4 Modder signing off keep on modding and we'll see you next time